Back in 1946, a group of retailers, about 18 of them, got together and talked about consolidating their purchases. In other words, buying stuff to help support themselves in the retail markets that they had. They realized early on, because this grew relatively quick, that the facility that they were in was way too small. It was only like 18,000 square feet when they started. So they turned around and purchased land in Manchester and opened up a wholesale food distribution company there. This became known as Associated Grocers of New England Company. The walls of the distribution center in Manchester started to really expand and the skew counts or the items that they brought in resulted in the fact that they were really struggling to keep up with the demand. So with their board of directors and the leadership of Associated Grocers of New England, they made a decision to uh, purchase land up here in Pembroke, New Hampshire, and we built here a 380,000 square foot facility, which we hope was going to take us out to the next five to ten years easily. and, and with the opportunity of being able to double that expansion. The challenges we had in Manchester led us to believe that we really had to make sure we bring the right equipment into this brand new facility. With that, we started an intensive search for the right partner to help us to spec out what our needs should be in this new facility. We ended up really liking what we saw with the Raymond forklifts, and we thought that that would be the ideal piece of equipment to come into this facility. With that in play at that point in time, we contacted Abel Womack and sat down with them. When AG was looking to move here, we worked with them to try to figure out what the best flow patterns were to specify equipment that met their needs today and for the future. We looked at using special options when they were going to go in cold storage to keep their operators in there longer and, and get more work done. We wanted to make sure that the equipment that we purchased as well would be able to sustain all those different temperature fluctuations out there. So Abel Womack was able to help us through that process and making sure that we had the right piece of equipment, especially in the freezer. Specifically when moving into this new building, we recommended model 7400 reach trucks. The visibility, the ergonomics, some of the options that we actually quoted for them, the thermo kit that allowed their operators who were in freezers to stay in there longer so if they were productive as opposed to having to take time out every 20 minutes or so. So that was a real key in uh, productivity was keeping the operators in the freezer where they, they made their money. These forklifts are more ergonomically set up to the point of where the, the associates are more comfortable with these pieces of equipment and really like them from the early stages to even to today as we continue to replace some of our equipment and get new ones in. Over time, we changed from the Model 7400 to the Model 7500 to take advantage of the new technologies out on the market. The 7500 uh, offered them greater energy efficiency, better productivity, and then as time evolved, we changed them out to Raymond Model 8410 pallet trucks, again, trying to take advantage of the productivity and energy gains that those trucks have afforded us. When their needs changed based on an increase in uh, SKUs, we helped work with them on high-level order picking, so we added a model 5400 with high productivity package and IntelliSpeed so that they could take uh, advantage of this new opportunity that was afforded to them. Um, what, what we did find, and we continue to find it today, is our performance, our throughput of our facility continues to be very strong because of the equipment, the right racking, the right type of um, pallet jacks out there, and of course, all that comes with training our associates as well and making sure we've got the right piece of equipment that's easy for them to, to handle, to maneuver, and to be able to handle on a day-to-day -day basis. Overall, as we look at our performance and our productivity in this facility, it was far greater than what we had in the Manchester area. We saw a reduction in our maintenance costs, not because we had new equipment as much as the repairs and downtime and things that we had with some of the others, but being able to not only train our mechanics, in-house mechanics, very well, Abel Womack was you know, there to help us to walk our, our mechanics through the necessary things they needed to know about this kind of equipment. We've actually trained their maintenance technicians along with our own. Uh, they've sat through our 7400, 7500, Model 8410 classes, along with the order picker classes. So not only have they been trained by Raymond personnel, they also have a bond, so if they ever do have a problem that they can't uh, figure out on their own, they're only one phone call away from calling someone that's a, a friendly ear on the other side of the phone that can help them out. 
I've seen, you know, a lot of distribution centers in my career, the 40 years I've been out there, and as we get into new technology and new innovation to help us to continue to be better and better each and every year to help support our retailers, I found that Abel Womack has been able to help us outside the normal material handling type equipment, given us some, some ideas and thoughts about what they've seen in the country and other places that they serve. So when you talk about our relationship with Abel Womack today, it is where I would go back to say, we always talk about partnership, but this is where the name really starts, because that name partnership really means Abel Womack and AG of New England working together for the betterment of both sides.